Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to RTC TV4. My name is Dakota Hayden and we are at Camp We Can and we got um, ourselves a worker here at Camp We Can that I'm going to go ahead and interview here. What's your name? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Um, so Mackenzie, what, what are you doing here? What, what's your job here? I am a counselor here at Camp We Can for the three days for the elementary, middle, and high school kids. Awesome. So um, what, what do you do as a counselor at Camp We Can? What is like your main responsibilities here for the kids and stuff? Um, you basically just follow your camper around and they're the prince or princess for the day. All right, awesome, awesome. Um, any particular thing that you find most enjoyable about the camp here and that what you guys do? Um, I think my favorite part is like the final dance where we have music playing and all the campers just dance around and we just hang out and enjoy each other's company. Awesome, sounds like fun. Well, that, this is just one of the many workers we got out here at Camp We Can. We'll be sure to get some interviews with a few other ones right here, but for right now, that was Mackenzie, right? Yep. Awesome, thank you so much. Yep, no problem. We go to Hayden here again with RTC TV4 and with me I have, what's your name here? Allie Jones. Allie Jones, nice to meet you. So what is your job here, Allie, here at Camp We Can? Well, we just help the counselors that, you, or the campers that usually don't have a normal childhood camp experience, like experience life like a normal kid and have fun. Okay. Awesome. Um, what would you say your favorite part about the camp is here that you do? Um, I really like swimming. They really enjoy it and they're all super happy. Awesome, awesome. Uh, and is this your first year working for Camp We Can, or have you been here before? This is actually my third year, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Um, so what's the theme for this year? I heard they got a theme every year. Uh, sports, actually, like all-star sports. Sounds cool, sounds cool. Um, is it any better comparable to the theme last year? Because I don't know if there was a theme. Or uh, what the theme was last last year. year was Disney. Ooh. And yeah, I, I think it's better this year a lot. It's more organized, I think. Awesome, awesome, cool. Yes, of course. Well, this is just one of the many workers we got out here in Camp We Can, and uh, thank you for getting this interview with me, you know. And uh, with RTC, we'll see you all in the next interview. Thank you.
Hello again with RTC TV4. I'm Dakota Hayden here, and alongside with me I have... What's your name? Sarah. Amy. Julie. And these are three more workers here at Camp Weekend. What, what do you all do here? What, what's all your jobs? Um, we are running the picture frame decoration booth. Okay. And tie-dye tomorrow. Awesome. Yep, we're going to help them make crafts. Sounds like fun. So what is your all favorite part here at Camp Weekend? I know two of you are like, this is your first time here, but what are you looking forward to to see? Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all of our campers interacting with our counselors and see how well they um, connect and build relationships. Awesome. The smiles, they're amazing to watch. I just think it's going to be fun watching them interact and see how all this turns out. Hi, Dakota Hayden here with RTC TV4, and with me I got the two head honchos here of Camp We Can, Jody and Tina. How are you ladies doing here tonight? Good, thank you We're for doing coming. Awesome. Now I've seen both of you running around a lot. You both seem really busy here this morning or this afternoon, whatever time it is. Um, yeah. Any um, help? Help us out a little bit here. I noticed a lot of different colored shirts around here. Would anyone like to give us kind of like the hierarchy of what all those uh, what those kind of symbolize for the campers? I sure and um, as you can see, there's some green shirts. Those would be our counselors. Blue shirts would be for our station helpers. Um, red shirts would be our parents. Our most important little kings and queens of the day are wearing red and gray baseball shirts. And then you'll see various other people running around in costumes of various sports. And those would be our head counselors and board members. Awesome, sounds great. Um, a few questions for you ladies. So was there any difficulties in acquiring this building or like financial difficulties getting everything set up here? I was told to ask Tina about this one earlier. <laughs> um, as far as uh, the use of Geneva Center, that's something that went clear back to our beginning. Um, when we first had this idea, the idea of, okay, so we have this idea, but where could we have it? Uh, and Geneva Center was on our, our list, and it's the first place that we came, and it's they said yes immediately, and the rest is history. And over our years, I think that we've used just about every bit of this ground. And if you haven't been out here to Geneva Center, you need to, because this place is amazing. Um, so, what was it, three days ago, we started listening to the weather reports, and it seemed like it was really going to be hot, and they were probably pretty sure about the heat. So we contacted Geneva Center, asked if we could possibly have camp indoors in the air conditioning, and they said absolutely, and they've made it happen for us. Um, as far as financially, I have to hand that all over to all of our donors. Um, we cannot do this without our donors because we are strictly based on donor um, contributions. And so they help us, and Geneva Center gives us a great deal um, to have camp out here uh, because they believe in our mission. Awesome. That's fantastic to hear. And so camp lasts three days here. Would you care to give the viewers at home a little idea of what the theme is here this time around this year for the camp? Our theme is all-star sports, focusing on all-stars. <laughs> uh, we have bowlers, we have baseball players, volleyball, football, golf, soccer, cheerleaders track runners, basketball players. We have a wide variety of referees and also <laughs> event staff. 
Awesome. Sounds like a lot of fun for the kids. Uh, so, Jody, uh, would you mind giving us a little summary of what Camp Weekend is all about here to kind of just give us a kind of of an idea of what you guys are trying to go for here for these three days that we have these kids? Sure. Um, our, our theme is to always make sure that we focus first on our campers and make them the king or the queen of the day. Um, each camper is paired with at least one or two counselors. Um, they go through, do various activities, just enjoying the day. Um, by the end of the day, they're going home, they have a picture frame with their camper and their counselor's picture in that frame. Um, Tie-dye t-shirts, wide variety of things. Our focus, again, like I say, is being on the king or the queens for the day. A lot of them look forward to this day from the time they leave tonight, so. Awesome. Anything in particular you ladies looking forward to that you got on the schedule here for these next couple of days here with the campers? Swimming. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like fun, it being hot outside. It'll be great. <laughs> swimming is always a favorite activity. Um, I've already heard, when are we swimming, at least a dozen times. Um, I think it's, it's not necessarily an activity, but just seeing the friendships that are already blossoming and by the end of the day these these campers will have best friends new best friends and so that's always exciting to see sounds awesome well thank you all ladies for your time thank you for all you do here at camp we can and just thank you all for giving us the interview here